Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome. It is uh, another stream. I know, weird, as little as I have been streaming, to be doing yet another stream here tonight. Um, we are playing on the Sega Master System, and this is Double Dragon, one of my all-time arcade favorites. Um, and a lot of people have said that this is the definitive version of this game. One thing we're going to do uh, before we get started here is... Um, just double check that all of our audio levels and everything are coming through. Everything's looking good on my end. We are just going to double check, like I say here, in just a moment. Make sure everything is uh, going as it should be. So double checking everything. And I'm hearing everything come through just fine. So excellent. Now. I honestly, I have not played this game before. We are playing through the um, through an OSSC. We are using, we are at four times scaling right now. Um, one thing of note is the fact that I'm actually having to use my EasyCap 284 capture card instead of my Elgato. My Elgato would absolutely not handle the signal output from uh, the master system into my OSSC and then out to the TV. Now, I am also using my HD Retrovision cables. Um, so one of the nice things, too, the Master System, just like the Genesis, can actually do RGB right out of the box. You don't need any... Hey, Mike, how you doing? Uh, you don't need to do any uh, special soldering or anything like the Super NES Junior. It's plug-and-go, and that makes it awesome. Uh, going to grab Return of Double Dragon uh, cart from Retroism, but glad I didn't based off the reviews on Amazon. Um, interesting. So, like I say, this is the first time that I've played the Master System since I got it at uh, Missouri Game Con. And uh, now one thing that strikes me first of all is the colors just don't look right to me. But kind of checking things out with, uh, you know, other other reviews and, and other screenshots and whatnot that I've seen, this is actually spot on. I am floored at how sharp all the pixels and everything look. Um, if you would have told me this was a Master System originally, I would have told you you're full of crap that this has to be some kind of, you know, repro or emulation. I'm dead already. Now, one thing about the Master System, unlike the NES version, is you can actually have more than two characters on screen at any one time, and they don't have to be the exact same character. Hey, Gio, um, I just responded to your email, by the way. I've been having problems tonight trying to get the stream going, and part of that has been the fact that, uh, like I mentioned uh, early on, is the fact that the Elgato will not work with the Master System, which I did not expect, but I guess the, uh, the video output is out of spec for the Elgato. But now I am streaming through my EasyCap 284. Hey, it's Linda. Um, one thing that we are doing tonight as well is we're doing a little bit of a celebration. Um, don't know if you saw the post on Twitter a little bit ago, but uh, we have booked our tickets for the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Um, so this year's Portland Retro Gaming Expo will be rock solid. See what I did there? A lot of flicker. I, mean, I actually did not expect that. Uh, Edgar, I figured you'd be one of them to be in here tonight. Now, you are a huge Genesis fan. Now, one thing I, I do wish that I had here on this controller was a pause button so I can check the chat, but I don't. Oh, I think that's my last life. It is. Um... So I do love the way the Double Dragons look here on the title screen. I think graphically they look great. Uh, we're going to give this another try. Now, one thing, do I still have it here? I don't. Um, I did try the arcade fighting stick that I bought a little bit uh, tonight before I streamed. So I did play like five minutes before the stream just to verify that everything was working. Um, 
The one thing I couldn't get used to on that is the fact that the joystick is... Basically, the controls are backwards. The, uh, the one and two buttons are on the left, and the joystick is on the right. So, to me, it just didn't feel quite right. But then again, me playing a Sega system, just there's something wrong with that, isn't there? So also looking forward to, we've got some news coming off. You have not heard. Wow. I am sucking. Um, Retrobit has uh, announced a little bit more uh, detail-wise regarding their new officially licensed Sega accessories. So they've got controllers for the Genesis coming, wired and wireless. And I think for the Saturn was the other controller that they announced. Um, nothing yet for the um, for the Dreamcast, which I think a lot of people are, are really kind of chomping at the bit for. Solid Nate, how you doing, my friend? Trying, like I say, there's there's no pause button on the controller here, so it's kind of hard to to keep track of the chat. Um, I actually don't mind this controller. It feels very similar to uh, an NES controller for me. So I'm, I'm digging it there. The one thing is the fact that there is no pause and select uh, or start and select button on it. Um, it does feel like it's a little bit narrower than an NES controller. Um, I gotta say, I really like the uh, the music and everything. Now, can you guys see in the white right now, there is a lot of vertical streaking going on, and I don't know if that's something with just this version of the game, if if it's with my settings on my OSSC, which it might be. I mean, everything's looking super crisp, but those vertical lines are, are standing out to me for sure. Ah, oh, died again. I'm I'm hoping, Mike, too, when I go to uh, Portland Retro Gaming Expo to get some one-on-one -on -one and FaceTime with some of these companies that I've had uh, some working relationships with, shall we say, over the last year or so. Um, so, like, RetroBit will be one of them I'm hoping to, to spend some time with. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out tonight. Um, I do appreciate it. Been trying to get back into the streaming uh, ever since I got my, my laptop back and everything from Dell from repairs. And that's really what the problem was, why it basically stopped streaming for a bit, was the fact that I didn't have a decent enough computer to be able to stream. Wow, just like that, dead. Um, I will say one thing is that this is definitely harder than the NES version. I don't know if it's the hit detection or what it is, but man, this is tough. The fact that I've died once and almost twice before really scrolling past the first stage, or not even the first stage, but the first part of the first stage. I mean, damn. This is brutal. Come here, Linda, I need that whip. Like I said, I'm, I am a bit surprised at the screen flicker. We'll probably play a couple more games here tonight. I've got Afterburner as well. It was one of the games that I picked up at the... Well, actually, it was after the Missouri Game Con. Um... Might put in some TMNT, um, not the Manhattan Project. What is it? The what is the repro that I picked up? And maybe this is one of those things where, in this game, you got to stick and move more with the the jump kicks to start. Maybe that is the trick.
It seems like the uh, the hit detection is definitely it's both closer and further away, if that makes sense. Like I was able to hit that one dude from further away, but if I'm on top of him, it seems like there's issues. Like it's too close, and I would punch through the enemy. Damn it! Now, if you guys also have not done so, um, make sure I've got a link in the description here for this video. Make sure that you have signed up to win the NES Classic Edition. We're giving away, no, not the Streets of Rage one. Um, it's basically the, the, the Genesis version of Turtles in Time. Uh, make sure that you enter to win the NES Classic Edition we're giving away towards the end of this month, a little bit over a week away. Damn. I mean, this is... I'm not as bad as the NES Addict, I know that. I'm also not as good as the NES Addict, so... But, I mean, already to have continued once... Mega Retrotastic, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by. Thank you all of you for stopping by. Really appreciate it. We're in a, a mood to celebrate tonight. Like I mentioned earlier in the stream, we have our flight booked. We are going to be heading to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what we see there. Uh, definitely learned a lot going to my first convention down in Missouri about two or three weeks ago. Uh, that's typical, Geo. Um, there's generally about a 30-second delay between um, what you see on screen and what you see in the chat. Ooh, bat boy. So I'm wondering, too, those of you who were with me last night with the Super NES Junior doing the uh, RGB test and everything, we lost the video. I'm wondering if it wasn't tied into Elgato compatibility more than anything else. Um, so we'll see. I mean, this is... Wow. This is tough. I was not expecting this to be this hard. Uh, let's see. The NES version is better, but the graphics are better here. Yeah, I, I really am digging how sharp it is. Now, again, like I mentioned earlier, are you guys seeing the vertical lines? I'll stop here. If you see kind of the streaking down the screen, excuse me, that may just be my display. Um, I mean, this is, I'm, I'm just floored at how sharp this looks. A little bit of slowdown going on, too, so. Got that, dude. I do like the fact that when you kill someone, you get an audible alert, basically. So that you don't wonder, okay, is this guy dead or not? You know. I will say the jump kick is a little bit harder to pull off in this than on the NES version. Now, if you don't have a Master System, what you can do if you want to play Master System games is there is the, um, the adapter for the Genesis that will allow you to play uh, uh, Master System games. You can also get, uh, for the Retron 5, there is an adapter available uh, for the Retron 5 that'll let you play Master System, Game Gear, and I forget what the third um, game type that that will allow you to play, but there's basically three, it's a three-in-one adapter for the Retron 5. I love the fact the box there says Sega. That's awesome.
it seems like the attack range is a little bit less. I mean, it. like I say, the hit detection is just weird, especially if you're so used. Like, I've never really played this before. This is the furthest I've ever gotten in this game because I just got my master system. Uh, but it's definitely something that, oh, come on, you. Um, if you're coming from the NES version, it's it's different. It is different. I'm not saying it's bad. It, it, it's just different. Oh, who are you, buddy? I'm not your buddy, pal. I'm not your pal, guy. I'm not your guy, friend. Anyone know where that's from? I'll check the uh, chat in a second, too. Like I say, it's one of the bummers about this is the fact that there is no pause button. Now, uh, my phone just went off, too. We got uh, been talking to Riff over at the Pixel Heroes Game Squad a little bit tonight. He was actually one of them that I was talking to as far as whether or not to actually attend Portland this year. And and he kind of talked. He gave me some sage advice. Like, literally, I think he was burning sage in the background. Come on, you die. Uh, Y'all ever play the Sega Genesis version of this game? I have not. Um, I didn't know there was a Sega Genesis version of this game. Let's see. Um, Power Master Converter for the Genesis. Yes, that's the one I was looking for, Edgar. Uh, minor bugs on the game. Oof. I was looking at the chat, not the screen. But, I mean, overall, I, it's, I am floored at how sharp this looks through the uh, those HD retrovision cables. And the cool thing is you can get those through CastleManiaGames.com. Use promo code ROX10. You save 10%. Um, so, and they'll also get you free shipping and handling, so... That's always a good thing. Now, one thing, too, on the power base converter that uh, Edgar was uh, mentioning, too, is the fact that it'll also play. I call them Hue cards. I know that was what the TurboGrafx-16 used, but that's basically what the cards that the Genesis, or not the Genesis, but the Master System. I've always kind of thought of them the same way as, as Hue cards for the TurboGrafx-16. So I've got some big plans for this weekend, too. I am, uh, uh, oop. this weekend I'll be race directing, announcing at a, uh, another RC event this weekend, same as that uh, fifth scale race you guys saw me about a month ago. Uh, but I'm actually going to try to race for the first time in almost a year. It'll be a year in September that was the last time that I raced. I'll be running my MIP Pro 8 light conversion on the low C10 SCTE. Basically converts it to an A-scale off-road buggy. I think we're going to be kind of traction limited this weekend if we're not rained out. Um, and I think having the lower power will be easier to hook up and will lead to more success for me. Getting a lot of flickering here. Maybe this is why the NES only had three or two characters on the screen at one time. This controller is definitely growing on me. I got to say that. Um, this is probably the most that I've played on a, well, it, it's not maybe, it is the most I've ever played on a Master System since I was in grade school. My friend Kyle Keppen actually had one of these. Uh, let's see. Magnus, how you doing? Uh, this plays multiplayer unlike the NES version. Had one as a kid. Yep. Uh, let's see. Enhanced colors. Me either, unless you get, uh, awesome. Um, the Hue cards are awesome. They look like the KED cards to me. Yep. Uh, I am playing this on an original Sega Master System using the Master System stock controller. We are using HD retrovision cables going through my OSSC and I'm using four times scaling uh, on the settings. Uh, 
Um, the only other minor tweaks that I have on here, I'm actually using the same profile I use with the Genesis, so I've got a slight mask on the bottom of the screen um, just to eliminate uh, some artifacting that happens. I think some of these character sprites actually don't look as good as the NES versions. Um, I think my character looks great. Uh, some of the enemies, though, like the Lindas, uh, especially the her right there, I don't think it looks as good. I do love the audio, though. I will say that. I wonder if this has... Does anyone know if the Master System version has unlimited continues? See, they're... Like, I had to be right on top of them to hit them with the baseball bat. So that's why I'm talking about the hit detection is not quite, you know, not ideal. I thought there was still a Linda back here. Uh, when am I going to stream Night Trap? I haven't bought it yet, Geo. I'm going to check and see if Adrian's getting the physical cart in. Um, he is out of town right now. He's actually with uh, his girlfriend. Uh, they are visiting family over in Australia right now. And... Uh, Oh, get off me, Adobo. And then they are going to Japan to go to Akihabara for a couple of days. Son of a buck. Um, and I'm hoping he brings back some cool stuff. Um, audio and everything sounding okay to everybody, by the way? Now, one thing I noticed with coming through my EasyCap 284 is I don't get to monitor my um, my game audio like I do with the um, Elgato. That is one thing that is a little bit different. The nice thing too on the, that EasyCap 284 is it's like 75 bucks versus 150 for an Elgato, 130 if you can get them on sale from time to time. And uh, sorry about the, the, the short stream last night, too. I get really bad migraines from time to time. And last night, like, I was about ready to barf. And ain't nobody wants to see that. Wow, we got 13 people in here. This is the most we've had in a long time on a stream. Thank you all so much. Make sure too. I know Sal or Nate was in here a little bit ago. Magnus is in here. Chit Chat was in here. Make sure you check out all these other guys' channels too. It was very cool last night too. After my stream, a bunch of people head on over to uh, Eugene Myers at EC Myers Vids, and uh, we had a rock solid raid on his stream, which was cool. Like I said, I felt bad that I wasn't feeling well, but I was also really not feeling well. Every time that you whip someone in here, I want to hear a little Devo. When you fight the Linda, you must whip it. Lamont, how you doing, my brother? I really appreciate all you guys coming by tonight, seriously. Wow, that was weird the way the screen just floated up there. That was really, really, really odd. Um, I do not recommend to play is Double Dragon 3. Double Dragon 3 is terrible. Um, and then the one that's on the Switch along with the PlayStation 4 that's like this graphic style is is really bad. The, the, the newer graphic style, I think that was on the PS3. Um, I think it was Double Dragon. Oh, shoot. I think it was Double Dragon Neon or something like that it was called. It was super fun. Um, Cassie and I used to play that quite a bit when we first got it. Yeah, but the, the new 
Double Dragon that's like this art style and everything that's on the Switch and the and the PlayStation and I think it's on the Xbox as well. It's terrible. That dude's got like a Fred Flintstone style beard it looks like, you know, the five o'clock shadow and everything. I mean, this is hard. I'm not gonna gonna lie. The um, your your life meter and everything is pretty low, and you don't get many lives. Um, but man, I I'm digging it. I I'm definitely digging it. I would say if you have a chance to pick it up, definitely do it. Um, I got this copy complete in box uh, for about twenty bucks off of eBay. Uh, this was one of them when I was at the Missouri Game Con. I was actually looking. Oh, hello there. I was actually looking for, this is one of the titles. Oh, there's two of you boogers. Okay. Run away, run away. You know, I think in some of these early arcade ports, they took your continues basically as like you were really just putting another quarter in. Got one. Come on, die. Got him! Chit chat. Uh, let's see, Double Dragon 4 suck. See, I don't mind. Uh, yes, Double Dragon 4 is bad. Super is good. 2 is great. Heck, even Battletoads and Double Dragon is good. Yep, I was playing that the other night, too. That was actually one of the games I was using to test out my uh, RGB mod on my NES or Super NES Junior. It's not easy being green. You know, if are any of you out there, you know, familiar with the graphics on this? Are the, is the color palette look right to you? It's like Michael Bolton. Why should I change my name? He's the one who sucks. There's one more here. You're going to try a sneak attack on me, weren't you? I know another one I want to get my hands on on the Master System to play is Shinobi. Um, just because I've, I've honestly, I've never played a Shinobi game. Now, one thing that I did not know until recently either, talking to one of my coworkers, who, uh, Matt, who is a huge Sega nerd. Um, it does seem like it's just unlimited continues, which is awesome. Um, is I guess what Sega did was with each succeeding console, what they did was the CPU from the preceding generation became the, um, the audio chip for the the next console so like the the master system cpu became the audio chip for the genesis i i don't know how true that is that's what he was telling me and if that is the case it's pretty interesting Let's see what else we go. Um, was there a Double Dragon Neon on Xbox 360? Yeah, I think it was the same one that was on the PlayStation, Mike. I can't get that rock! It sucks! Uh, let's see, wasn't there, 
Battle Tournament has a good... Yep. I was running away from Adobo there just to uh, check out the chat. Again, no pause in this game or on the system, except for on the console itself. Now, this is a Master System 1. There is a second version um, that does have, like, some sort of... Oh, come on. Dude, really? Um, that, like I say, was redesigned. I think it removed the hue card reader on it. Um, but it was only RF output. It was kind of like the, the NES 2 that only had the RF output. Um, and to the best of my... Oh, no, not again. He's taking me to Suplex City. Got him. That was tough. Hey, Jeff, good gamer. Have a good stream, my friend. Yep. Have a good one, Mike. Talk to you soon. Check flight information. Hey, Jay, we were talking about you very poorly earlier on, so I was, it must be like Biggie Smalls where he say his name three times and he shows up. Beast mode? Wow. Did someone just finish a, uh, a stream and, and there's a raid going on here now or something? Jay, I kind of wish that you were here to play along as player two. Um, just, oh, damn it. I know that this is one of your... Oh, that was cheap. One of your better games. One thing, unlike the NES, Jay, is this seems to have unlimited continues. And I've needed to use a bunch so far. <laughs> the hit detection is not as good as the NES. It seems like it's both, like, if you're on top of someone, it goes through them. Um, and on the flip side, if you're, t it just, it's weird. Uh, just, you have Yamaha. You don't need a time machine, man. You need a, uh. A transporter like in Star Trek. All right, so we're going that one, then that one, then that one. So that's the pattern. We got through that one okay. Oh, bollocks. Um, now, do you have, is yours complete in box, Jay? Or do you have just the loose cart? Oh, crap. Oh, I guess it's not unlimited continues. Ah. Uh. Well, that was a halfway decent run. Um, do you guys want me to go and play this some more, or do you want me to go ahead and uh, throw in some Afterburner? Because I've got that as well that I can throw in here, too. Uh, for Capcom, use a lot of yellow. Oh, didn't know that. Man, seriously, thank you, everyone, for stopping by. I greatly appreciate it. Well, I'm waiting to kind of see. I know there's a lag between what I uh, uh, what I say in the stream and everything. I just want to check. Uh, got a text here from my buddy Riff. Um, I was kind of hoping he would pop on the stream at some point. Maybe he will later. CPU Genesis is a Motorola, which is super popular. Okay. Um, another run at Double Dragon, or do you guys want me to throw in Afterburner? How about some afterburner? I can do that. Give me a second. I'm going to set the headset down, and uh, hopefully everything works well. Sometimes with this one capture card, it can get a little wonky. So uh, we're going to push that back. Sounds good, Jay. We'll talk to you soon. Hope everything is going well with you and yours. I am looking forward. Make sure you guys subscribe to the NES Addict if you haven't already, because I'm looking forward to what he 
posts about uh, the Southeast Game Exchange, which was last weekend. Another request for Afterburner, so we're going to throw in some Afterburner. One moment. Looks like I gotta clean the cartridge, guys. One second. Well, it doesn't look like, uh, what is this abomination? <laughs> You're funny, Eugene. looks like I got to break out the uh, Bright Boy real quick on my afterburner. So give me 30 seconds. We'll get it all fired up here. I've got my Bright Boy real quick. So one moment. Sorry, guys. Goodness, you guys are not going to believe this when I show you these cotton swabs. I understand now why it wasn't planned. Yeesh. Perfect example of why I use Bright Boy. Oh my goodness. There we go. Uh, fun fact, did you know the Saturn is similar to the Genesis Heart? It, yeah, I did. So here, I'm going to scroll. I'm going to change my camera angle here for a second. Hopefully you guys can see this. Can you guys see how black those are? This is why I use Bright Boy, is because it gets this crap off. Um, so 
this game was not playable. You guys saw I tried several times to get it to play, and it just it wasn't going to do it. Bright Boy takes care of it. I get nothing whatsoever by saying that. Um, I don't get a commission or anything. I'm just telling you, Bright Boy is the stuff. So we are going to start this and see how badly we do. Now, the, the game I was thinking of um, before for the Genesis that I couldn't remember was Hyperstone Heist. So we might throw this in for a little bit yet tonight, too. Excuse me. Okay, this is trippy playing this on my TV because it's it just weird. It definitely is not as good as the Genesis version, but the fact that there even was a uh, Mega Dr or a Master System version is freaking cool. Getting lucky here. Whoa. Do a barrel roll. Never give up. Never surrender. Whoa. Dang. I hope you guys aren't getting motion sick watching this because this is... There's a lot of rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, and I died. It's kind of hard to keep your keep track of everything that's going on, both due to the, the lower graphic fidelity and just the way that everything is drawn in here. Wow, that's a lot of yellow. For a Master System game, though, this isn't bad. It's really not. It's completely and totally playable. It it looks, oh, for the generation, it looks decent enough. I don't know. Is there a... Oh, do you have unlimited missiles? Does anyone remember? Um, you know what we're going to do here? I'm going to change things up just a little bit. And hopefully I can do this and not have to unplug the uh, headset here. We're going to grab that. And I am actually going to throw in the arcade stick and play a little bit with that. I got this recently for eight bucks at our local disc replay, actually. So here's the, the Genesis control stick. And what's weird, like I say, is the fact that, to me at least, the controls are backwards. You've got the analog stick on the right, and you've got your push buttons on the left. So it's just different. Um, it's not a micro switch. It doesn't feel like there's no, you know, there's no clicking when you move from one direction to the other. Um, so let's give this a shot. I feel dirty playing a Master System game sitting back on my Nintendo pillows. I don't feel like I'm as accurate so far, at least, with, this, with the control stick as what I was with the D-pad. I'm still alive, and that's a good thing. Ooh, got him that way. Hey, oof. I don't know if Magnus is still in here or not, uh, but I mentioned earlier that I'll actually be racing this weekend, doing some eight-scale e-buggy racing. Yeah, definitely the, the precision control isn't here in this, like in the D-pad. And it could be just me not being completely comfortable with... Ooh, Jesus. 
was afraid that I was going to get nailed there. Yeah, I did get nailed there. Yeah, not the precise control. Hey, Brian, how you doing? Got this from live action games. You, or not live action games, but from uh, disc replay. You didn't get this joystick from me, you dirty rotten. So Brian here in the chat is the one, if you guys follow me on Twitter and follow our Facebook page, he's the one that wound up buying that, um, the Hori gamepad for the uh, N64 that I wanted. That I actually went back the next day to try to buy, and it was gone. So interesting thing here on this control stick um, is the fact that the top turns. Uh, the pilot would be thrown out. Yep, yep, it would be. I'm going to actually go back to the D-pad, not liking that a whole lot, so we'll just swap that out real quick. Now, Brian, if you do want a master system of your own, uh, Disc Replay does have one in stock, complete. They even have the light phaser for it. I was in the store earlier today talking to... Uh, Alex wasn't there. Who was there today? I can't remember the other guy's names. Yeah, jerk face. Yeah, this is nothing. You should see me fly my uh, RC planes. I can yank and bank with the best of them. No, not really. But there's a new plane that... So I work for a company called Horizon Hobby. That's my full-time gig. And uh, we just came out with a plane today. We announced it... Or No week and a half ago, two weeks ago, called the Mini Convergence. Basically what it is, is it kind of looks like a jet like this, but the it has like helicopter props on the front of it that you can angle up or down so you can make it either float like a drone or forward flight like an airplane. And uh, like I say, this is the Mini version. There was a full-size one we came out with about a year, year and a half, maybe two years ago. And um, I just didn't have anywhere big enough to fly that. Um, but this new mini convergence I may actually pick up. I mean, I just can't get over the fact that it looks this good for a Master System game. Avoided the missile there. And I will say, too, this does look better than the, the Tengen NES version. Whoa, I can't believe I missed that missile. Um, Edgar, I'm going to make you a mod here in a second. Can you take care of that message? You're in here enough. I trust you. Um, the message that just popped up here. I'm going to actually just do this. Uh, no, Elliot was not there today. So, Edgar, you have uh, moderation power now. Um, if you could take care and remove that one comment that just popped up, I would appreciate that. Uh, Brian, are you racing this weekend too, by the way? I meant to text you earlier in the week. I've actually got my uh, my car 90% ready. I've just got to get uh, my electronics uh, taken care of. I feel like I'm getting about the same um, distance in the game each time here with the D-pad. Yeah, just so you know, guys, I don't... Uh, you guys can rag on me all you want, but I'm not going to go for uh, slurs and stuff in the chat, so that's just why I had to remove that comment. Uh, so try to keep it family-friendly. Uh, how late do you work Saturday? Because we may be delayed depending on weather. They're calling for rain tomorrow night and possibly Saturday early. So, damn. And just like that, I'm already down to one 
in my last life. I think after this, we're going to change things up, and I am going to throw in Hyperstone Heist, because I don't know that I've ever played it. And the nice thing is I just need to change, basically swap my HD Retrovision cables back over to my Genesis from the, ooh, that was nice, from the uh, Master System here, so... Now, this is one series that I'm surprised that Sega has not brought back out of mothballs. Um, I mean, it's it's a rail shooter. It's one of the first really good arcade rail shooters, I think. And uh, we could definitely use some more of these. Damn it! Hey, Deepak, how you doing? So we're going to switch over now. We're going to go from the Master System to the Genesis. It'll take me just a few seconds to get everything switched up here. Um, talk amongst yourselves. Like I say, give me three minutes, and we'll be back up with Hyperstone Heist. Give me a second. My six button controller will be ready to rock and roll. Okay, so we are using the six-button controller. This is actually the Gamers Tech six-button controller, um, just because I don't know where my Genesis one is. Boy, this reminds me of Turtles in Time. Oh, I could have used a, a three-button controller because it looks like there's really just A and B are the two action buttons. This looks great. I love the fact that you can still do that, same as Turtles in Time. Okay, I am digging this. And, yes, now this is a repro. This is not uh, 
an actual production cartridge. This was a repro action I got at uh, the Missouri Game Con a couple weeks ago. I think I paid about 10 bucks for it. And I'm telling you right now, I'm glad I did. This is awesome. Are you guys not getting music? Let me check one thing real quick here. Um, I'm just going to look in my OBS. Shows that audio is going out. Let me know if you guys are not getting uh, game audio. I will make adjustments here. Funny thing is, like, I love the TMNT games. Not a fan of the cartoon. Music is real soft. All right, give me a second, guys. I will raise it up. I have that power. Let me know if this is too loud now. And this may also be, you know what? I think it's an issue with my capture card. That's what it is. You guys may be hearing the audio coming through on the TV. Because that is one thing on, on this capture card, on my EasyCap 284, is sometimes it does not broadcast the audio. And that's when I have to switch to my Elgato. I'll check the chat in just a second here, guys. So can you, does anyone know, can you throw enemies towards the screen? Here, let me, I'll raise it up here so you guys actually hear it. Yeah, that's what I think is the issue, Brian, is, is it's not coming through the, uh, the game, I think, it, or through the capture device. I think it's actually picking up off the headset. I know it's kind of ghetto to do that, but hey, it works. Oh, no. So you can't double tap to run? Yeah, you guys are probably picking up, Edgar, you're probably picking up the audio from my headset. You know what I'm a little disappointed at is I haven't seen a single Pizza Hut ad in here yet. Am I the only one that remembers, like, being a kid and going to Pizza Hut, and them having the the original TMNT arcade cabinet there when you cashed in your Book It uh, tokens and everything so you should, could get your free personal pan pizza. I remember when I was a kid, one of the cool things was the fact that they counted uh, reading the Garfield books as books that would count towards your Book It stuff that's different because I think in the Super NES version it's who turned out the lights when you fall down
All right, sounds good, Brian. Hopefully we see you this weekend. Oh, you hit uh, hold down C. That's Ron. This is such a great game. There was actually at our local Brian, who was just leaving, um, actually picked up uh, Live Action Games, had an actual copy of this complete inbox that they were selling. I think 80 bucks was what Adrian was getting for it. So I can definitely see how this would, would garner that sort of price tag. That was kind of cool. Actually, now that I see him here on screen, I'm surprised that uh, you know the purple Foot Clan was generally the 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 red shirt, if you will, of TMNT, and that was the first purple Foot Clan member that I've seen so far in this game. Let me know in the chat, what are your guys, your favorite TMNT game? Um, Turtles on Time is probably the top for me. Oh, the alien dudes. The xenomorphs, I remember these guys. Oh, you got me. TMNT 2, the arcade game on the NES, is another one that I just love. But a lot of it is because I would play the actual arcade game um, at our local Pizza Hut. And then there was also, we had a, a place called Sammy's Burger Place, that uh, little family-owned shop. And the cool thing about Sammy's was every Sunday they would have 39-cent hamburger days. And you could get as many as you want, but he also had a full-blown arcade in there. They had uh, Afterburner. They had APB. Um, hold on one second. Let's check the chat. Um, I remember that Pizza Hut. Book it now. How old are you? I am 41. You are too immature to hang with me, good sir. Okay, so I got to just do two and move. I know it's the fourth hit that he does his charging. How are you supposed to miss that? That's what I don't get. Unless you got to hit him from behind and try to move. Uh, I forgot to tell you, I've got three games I got this week's Super Mario World, Donkey Kong Country, and Donkey Kong Country 2. That's awesome. There we go. Okay, after the fourth one, you basically have to jump. Got him. Thanks again, everybody, for stopping by. I really do appreciate it tonight. We are now off to the Mysterious Ghost Show. Oh, this is like way later on in Turtles in Time.
McFry, you bojo, those boards don't work on water. Unless you've got power. I was nowhere near that. Okay, that one I was because I was so close to the enemy. Got him. Weren't those called like mousers or something? Manhattan Project is good too. I remember my friend Chris Springham and I, we would always play uh, Termin Fighter on the Super NES. You know, I was just thinking, you realize that the Wii is considered to be retro gaming? Just let that sink in for a second. Uh, we're going to continue on with Donatello. Technically, then, if the Wii is retro gaming, then so is the PlayStation 3. Wow. I remember I was talking to from um, when I was, excuse me, at the, the after party from the Missouri Game Con. I was talking to, um, her name is Helen, and she's from, uh, they have a blog and a YouTube channel called uh, Game, or, uh, uh, Game and Browse, and how she's a teacher and talking to her students um, about retro gaming and that being like the Xbox 360. This, I think, on this level at least, the, the colors to me come across a little garish. Now, what I may do in a little bit uh, after this next continue is up and everything, I may switch over to the Super NES for a little bit and throw in some Super Mario World. Now, if I do that, I'll probably end this stream and start a new one just because... Of uh, Nintendo likes to copyright claim all that stuff, and I don't like that. That's that's not cool, man. All depends on how far we get on on this one, and whether we continue or call it a night. But tonight I'm feeling like celebrating. We had, uh, you know, for those who haven't heard and, and joined the stream late. Uh, Booked our flight earlier today to go to the Missouri Game, or not Missouri Game Con. Uh, that's already come and gone. That was a drive, not a flight, uh, but to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. So we will be up in the northwest come October. Looking forward to hanging out with the gang. Going to definitely stop by uh, Castlemania Games, the, the home store while I'm up there. want to check out the Pink Gorilla and a couple other stores while I'm up there, too. Oh, that flattened me like a pancake.
Now, you mentioned Metroid Prime. I know one game I just recently picked up, which I loved. I actually loved the the Wii version, um, and that was Resident Evil 4. Um, and I just picked it up for the GameCube, actually. You know what, actually, after this, what I'm going to do, I may put in, um, we talked recently about some of the repro games that I picked up from Banggood.com. I've got that one Castlevania game that I haven't played a whole lot. I'm going to throw that in. Got him. Oh, that sucked. Now, again, we're uh, playing this through just a regular unmodded Genesis coming out using HD retrovision cables. Um, go on to our OSSC. We are using four times scaling on here. Uh, output, I th think I have set to 256 uh, by 240p. Uh, no scan lines, no other you know weird stuff going on. Now, for those looking to have you know an experience like this, but you don't want to spend a couple hundred bucks on an OSSC, there is a device coming called the Retro Tank. Um, and that basically will upscale component and composite. Um, it'll line double it from 240 to um, to 480, um, and that is coming to CastlemaniaGames.com as well. I've got mine on pre-order and hope to have it shortly. I have to admit, I'm actually a little bit surprised Ryan hasn't stopped by the stream tonight. I know he's been busy with a lot of different stuff, though, too, at the castle, so. Oh, shoot a man in the back? You know, I have to admit that I think the music may be better in this than in Turtles in Time just because of the way the Genesis handles sound. It always has more of that synth slap bass kind of sound just naturally in it. Oh. Rock steady. Check it and see. You're going to have a fever of 103. Now, rumor is both Rocksteady and Bebop were fans of using plastic straws, so uh, be careful about that. Okay, so you can't do that. Can't do that either. Uh, where is a place to go to order an OSSC? Joseph, um, give me a second. I will get you a link here. I'm going to pause it for a second. Um, this is where I got it from. It's from a website called, I think it's Video Game Perfection. Yeah, the videogameperfection.com. And uh, I'll get you this link, and I'll drop it in in just a second. Um all the prices are in euro, so you have to convert it. Or, I mean, if that's your your money of choice, uh, you're good there. But right there is where I ordered mine through, and I think when everything was all said and done, it cost me about 250 bucks. 
Damn it. Oh, that was that was so cheap. Oh. Yep, no problem, Joseph. Now, like I say, it doesn't have as many tools to it, but the Retro Tank, if all you want to do is hook up your old games via HDMI, the Retro Tank is probably going to be a cheaper, more effective way for you. It doesn't offer as many tuning options, and I'm really interested to see how it can handle um, the Super NES because the Super NES is definitely the Achilles heel of the OSSC. Um, and the fact that it not only does composite or component, but composite too, that's interesting. I always hated these stupid things. Um, I think we're going to let um, let TMNT go, and I'm going to put in um, Castlevania. I should be able to do that here without having to take off the headset, which is a good thing. Now, this is Castlevania, the new generation that would be planned here. You know what? I am so stupid, I just realized why you're not hearing audio out of the Genesis. It's because of the way I have everything hooked up through my switcher box. Give me a second. I'm going to get you audio. One moment. Donatello. Donatello is always my favorite and always everyone and always the one that I play with. Options. What are our options? Third jump item. Oh, it doesn't give me an option to change and assign to X, Y, or Z. So attack jump item is what we're going to have to do. Ah, 
Huh, very cool. I didn't know that. Boy, that reminds me of Super Castlevania 4. Definitely digging the music, that's for sure. Sprite work is definitely not as sharp as the Super NES. Brains. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging the music. The music is pretty good. But definitely has elements of Super Castlevania 4 in here. That's, I think that's easy to see. Those are some weird looking enemies for sure. Ugh. Kind of wish Eugene was still in here. I don't know if he is or not. Uh, he is one of the best at playing any Castlevania game that I've ever seen. I don't like the fact that you can't whip up or diagonally. That's definitely a step back from Super Castlevania 4. I didn't want holy water. Okay, that whip is awesome. Oh, crap. Oh, that's crappy. Will you just die? Yep. The composer of Castlevania Blinds is Mishiro Yami, which is... Oh! Very cool. Very neat looking game. Like I say, I don't know that I like it as much as Super Castlevania 4 stylistically. Uh, but, I mean, that's one of my favorite games of all time, too. So, I mean, that's, that's a high... Um basis of comparison. That's an interesting enemy. Again, I want to thank you all for stopping by tonight and hanging out with the stream. Now, this being a repro, you got to be careful on some of them. I have uh, played some others without issues. Some of them have 
voltage issues to be cognizant of. Um, but I actually got this from Banggood.com. It was like five bucks. I think so. I got this. Um, what was it? It was this. It was, sorry, I'm trying to think. It was Wreck-It Ralph. And then what was the third one? Oh, uh, Mega Man The Wily Wars. And for all three was less than 15 bucks. Another perfect example there where I wished I could whip diagonally. Whoa! Did not expect that to happen. I think I mentioned it last night in the stream too that we had, uh, you know, the Avengers just came out on Blu-ray, and I think uh, Deadpool came out this week. Just wonder if anyone had picked those up, and if they did, what you all thought about them? And that was you all, not y'all. Got him. <gasps> what the hell? Why did he not go up the stairs there? That was terrible. There is zero audio for the game. Your audio is way too low. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it's the fact that I've got it hooked in my other capture card right now, Geo. Uh, let me see real quick here if there's anything I can do on my end. Um, yeah, I've got my audio as max, Geo, so there's nothing, there's not much I can really do here to, to increase my audio. I'm not dead yet. Well, there's the first stage in this. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to hook up my Super Nintendo in a second here. Um, hook up the other streaming device and do a second stream in a little bit. Um, so I do want to thank you all for watching. If this is your first time here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Um, I'll be back in about yeah, five, ten minutes. And like I say, we're going to play some Super Mario uh, World here in just a second. So uh, hang tight and we'll be back.